What's going on guys? Today I'll be talking about Fortnite version 7.30 patch notes. And this patch was actually released today, which is January 29th. And I think it was released earlier this morning. So if you haven't got to play it yet and haven't checked out the patch notes, in this video I'll just be quickly going through them and talking about each individual one and kind of what they do. And I'll probably be talking about the main ones more and kind of breezing over some of the more basic like bug fixes, things like that. But anyways, getting right into it, um, two things that were new that Fortnite kind of uh, wanted to show everyone was that they added chiller grenades and they also added mobile controller support, which I'll talk about later on. But uh, the limited time mode that they added is solid gold again. So once again, they're going to be only gold weapons dropping. So these are the legendary weapons and you get more materials that you uh, can gather as well. So that's not really too much things that are new there. Um, weapons and items, uh, they definitely added quite a few things and vaulted some things as well. Biggest item they added was Chiller Grenade. It will knock players back, causing them to slide along the ground. Alleys, enemies, and vehicles hit with the Chiller Grenade will slip about uh, around with icy feet wheels for a duration of 7 seconds. They drop in stacks of 3, max stack size is 6. Their uh, rarity is common, and they can be find, found from floor loot and vending machines. Uh, with Cozy Campfires, they updated visuals, which I guess isn't really that big of a deal, and that's really all they did with that. And they vaulted some pretty big guns here. I think this is the one that's um, actually kind of important. They vaulted the Bolt Action Sniper Rifle, so that was like the original sniper that uh, probably everyone still uses. So they vaulted that one, which is kind of interesting because they added quite a few snipers in uh, the past couple of weeks or so. Uh, they vaulted the Burst Rifle, so I think that means that just like... Uh, the common burst green burst and blue burst rifle and they vaulted the heavy shotgun as well and i actually like the heavy a lot but since they kind of fixed like the pump action shotguns and made a gold and purple pump um i i wasn't really using them too much to be completely honest and then they also vaulted the smg common uncommon and rare so the smg is gone but they basically replaced it by unvaulting the suppressed smg in common uncommon and rare and I actually used to love the suppressed SMG. It was one of my favorite guns. I was really mad when they vaulted it, but now they've unvaulted that, and I was using some gameplay with it, and it seems to be um, almost the same exact gun as before. It doesn't seem like they really nerfed it or anything like that yet. Um, they also reduced the drop chance of dual pistols uh, from floor loot from 2.24% to 1.38%. And just some minor bug fixes, uh, balloons no longer collide with vehicles, I actually didn't really notice anything with that, I think that would be just kind of coincidental, just uh, running into a problem like that. But anyways, um, gameplay wise, memory and networking op optimization for apples and mushrooms, so uh, I don't think that's a big deal. Added unique vehicle specific messages in the feed when players are eliminated or downed, so I'd like to see how that is. Edit delay, we enabled client side editing improvements. Uh, these were turned off at 7.2 due to an input bug uh, that they were crashing. So that's uh, something that might be important to you as well. Edit delays are very, very annoying. Fixed boogie bombs not affecting players that are wearing sneaky snowmen when struck on exposed legs feet. So um, a lot of fixes with sneaky snowmen, as you'll see. Um, fix sneaky snowman's last charge breaking away right after applying if another sneaky snowman is present in a different inventory slot. So another sneaky snowman fix. Fix an issue where glider would auto deploy closer to the ground than expected while holding glider redeploy from the bus. So that actually I didn't notice playing it myself. Um, fix the X4 Stormwing's health bar occasionally not displaying. Fix an issue where players could get stuck in sneaky snowman if it landed next to them. Increase the amount of materials gained from looting chests and floor loot from 20 to 30. So that's uh, one that I think is a little bit more significant there. They're um, increasing the materials you actually get and increase the number of materials we receive from supply drops from 40 to 60. So they nerfed those a while ago, and I actually like that because players couldn't just spam build all the time. They actually had to like, um, you know, farm for materials, but oh well. Bug fixes, aim assist now targets enemies on vehicles rather than the base of the vehicle they're occupying. I actually like that a lot. Um, that was nice. Um, it was very annoying trying to aim in on someone on an airplane or something and then hitting the wing of the plane or the middle of the plane. Uh, quickly switching the traps and weapons on gamepads no longer causes players to shoot or swing pickaxe. That's nice. I actually did notice that one quite a bit. Um, supply drop balloons now take environmental damage, including damage from explosives or by plain guns. Uh, that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, fixed instances of a free wall piece showing as placeable but not building. Uh, I didn't actually notice that too much. Uh, fixed player cameras from becoming disordered when an another player enters a zipline. Also didn't notice that one at all. Fix an issue where the magnet on the zipline could be invisible on use. I did notice that one actually. Every single time that happened to me, I thought I was going to like fall off and just randomly die. 
Uh, players can now properly progress through and complete the week four using X4 Stormwing Plane in different matches challenge. Uh, I can't remember if I actually did that one or not. Uh, st screens no longer shake uncontrollably after walking on icy surfaces. That's probably a good fix. And players will no longer lose the ability to turn X4 Stormwing after hitting terrain structures. Um, okay, that's one that I didn't notice as well, but that's probably because I don't use planes very much. So that's it for um, bugs fixes as well as like gameplay and weapons and items. But the next category is actually playground. So they removed guided missiles, uh, they removed the spiky stadium drop, and they also removed um, impulse grenades from that. So that was kind of annoying, but I guess there were some bugs with it. That's why they did that. Uh, there are some events coming up as well. So architect pop-up event. Uh, or pop-up cup solo duo uh, duo wow and squads and so yeah this one is looks a little different so let's see settings from previous pop-up cup tournaments still apply to this tournament within this mode players built structures can now be edited by any player regardless of team status this is an experiment that we'd like to try out in testing environment we aren't quite sure of the full impact we'd love to hear feedback from your experiences playing with this new change the tournament may now feature leaderboards for each event session highlight top performers participating in the tournament now requires a minimum account level of 10. So this is basically looks like just a normal game mode uh, of solo duos and squads, but the only difference is that you can edit any structure. So that will actually be kind of interesting, and I wouldn't be surprised if it works out well they actually add this to the regular game mode. Um, there's also just some basic performance fixes, um, as well as some basic audio fixes. The only audio this time was added a few sound to the grenade, so um, in the last update they actually had quite a few audio fixes. and. I'm switching around things like the minigun and stuff like that. So this one, they actually didn't have very many. But uh, another bug fix, fixed emote music overlapping with lobby music, depending on the way the volume sliders were configured. And um, some other basic things as well, and some bug fixes that I'll just go over very quickly. Um, these ones aren't really anything crazy or anything significant to talk about, I don't think. Um, they're just some basic ones where um, party information or party eliminations on the HUD if your team wins. So that's kind of cool. Um, added additional models to the cycle models list when viewing wraps in the battle pass or item shop. I don't think that's very significant. Party colors are restored to blue, red, purple, yellow, and it was a little bit different. Uh, before it was like yellow and like almost like a lighter yellow or something. Um, rotating the camera on the battle pass no longer has an oscillation swinging effect on the minimap. Fix an issue in the net debug UI that would cause it to show ping value that was too high. Um, some more bug fixes. Fixed issues with weapons were not equipping when double clicking in the inventory slot after um, quick bar slot fix. Um, fixed player sorting order in the player UI. Um, fixed an issue where the spectator button and player reporting menu would only select the first player you spectate. And uh, there was a couple other things, not really too much crazy. Um, they, I wonder if they added to the infinite dab or not. It doesn't look like they did. But they also added stuff for um, uh, the Super Bowl as well. Celebrate Super Bowl, you know, what is it, 53 with new LA Rams and New England Patriots uh, uniforms added to the fourth down outfit set. And that just looks like uh, some more skins that they'll be adding. Um, they add some things to replay, the social, um, mobile as well, but I'm not really gonna go too much in, on the mobile thing. And then they also added some stuff in creative, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, they added piano keys and music blocks, so that's actually new and kind of cool. And they also add, added arctic based prefabs as well as um, to change some other things on there that were really basic stuff. It didn't seem like anything too crazy there. And I don't really use um, creative too much and I'm not going to go over too much in that. But other than that guys, that's really it for this update. There were some other things as well with like Save the World, but um, I was pretty much just focusing on Battle Royale. I don't really care too much about um, creative or Save the World. But other than that guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, definitely leave a like and comment below what you think of this update. And other than that, if you're new to the channel, I talk about Red Dead Redemption 2, Fortnite, uh, things like that. And those are really the two biggest games that I've been playing recently and focusing on for this channel. And also let me know if there's any other games you would like me to check out or try. I think I might start doing some Black Ops videos as well. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching.